Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a thousand tickets on a solo game. It's really easy. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I haven't posted in three days. It was Thanksgiving, so I had a holiday here. Um, it's pretty easy to get a thousand tickets on round three. So what you want to do is you want to go to Cryptid Attack. And the best way to play this game is just to position your camera differently. Like what you want to do is you want to position it on the first tooth. And what you want to do is you want to slowly move the camera so that it kind of looks like it's going over the next tooth, but it's not. Like you can tell when you're going to throw it and it just goes like right in between the teeth. You just want it to be a little bit over because if it's too over, you see, it'll just go right in between. So the next game is the Black Hole Fun. I really like this game. It is based on random chance, but there is a way that you can kind of sway things in your favor. So what you want to do is you want to just press the button when it's kind of just swaying in the direction of the 50 so that it can kind of just hit one of the little lines and then you can probably get that 50. The skee-ball game is pretty easy. What you want to do is you want to charge it almost halfway, like not like halfway, a little bit more, and you want to go as close as possible to it. I want to talk about the little arcade games because I don't know, a lot of people I don't think play them, but the best one is Demon Attack to play. I really like it. It's really f a fun one to play. Um, you don't really want to play it solo, but... I just thought I would bring some light to it because it is a good game to play when you're with people that could protect you and stuff. So the next game that we are going to talk about is the basketball game. This game is actually pretty easy. What you want to do is you always just want to aim a little bit higher than the hoop because when you do, it could have the chance that if you think that you're off a little bit, it'll just kind of bounce right back in off the rim. It's pretty easy. It's really good to play with quickies too because when you have quickies, you get the ball back quicker and then you can get probably like 120 tickets because that's the max amount I've gotten with quickies. But with that, you can get 105 like I just did. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about was in the arcade room, you probably are going to have um, some zombies, maybe two or three. You could have one. But I would recommend that you have at least two or three because when you have one, it will just run full speed at you. So what you want to do is just make sure that you have more than one because it is the best thing to do. Another thing is you want to kind of play the games in the way you train your zombies. Like you want to just train them around and play the games that will it take them the longest to get to you. Um, it's pretty much the best way to do things. And what you want to do is just play the games until they're out of order. And... Right here is when I'm about to hit a thousand tickets. Um, yeah, it's not that hard to do. When um, getting a thousand tickets, it's pretty easy. You just want to make sure you're playing the games how I described because if you do, it's the best way and it's the pretty much the way to ensure that you get your thousand tickets. And so when you get the thousand, you can get all the parts for your wonder weapon. You can get the black hole grenade for the SETICOM. You can just get a bunch of stuff. Um, that's pretty much all it for today's video. I just wanted to make a quick, easy one. And I hope you guys are going to have a great day. And thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, um, please leave a like, subscribe, or comment. It would really help the channel. Thank you.